Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Pratt, and today we're going to be featuring a game called Wall Ball. So as you know, I'm always bringing you accessible, modifiable, and highly engaging content. This game idea is one from my childhood that we always used to play as kids. It's a super simple game. All you need is a wall and a ball. Any kind of wall will do. Obviously, a school tarmac is a great place to play this. Garages, a gym, or also other places you could try this. If your desks and stuff are out of the way, you could even give it a shot in the classroom. So wall ball is super simple. It's a throwing and fielding game, or a throwing and catching game. The idea of the game is to throw the ball at the wall. When the ball bounces back towards the group, somebody has to catch the ball. If you catch the ball, super simple. You throw it back at the wall. It hits the wall, bounces back, somebody else in the group catches the ball. The game's gonna repeat in this pattern. It's not really a point scoring game, it's more of just a game to play for fun. Here's where it gets interesting. If somebody throws the ball, it bounces off the wall and comes back and I fail to catch it, I need to sprint to the wall as fast as I can and touch the wall before another player picks the ball up off the ground and throws it at the wall. If the ball gets to the wall before I'm able to touch it, I would get a strike. After you get a strike, the game just continues. You're not eliminated. I am not a big promoter. In fact, I don't promote at all elimination games, especially for in the school, because it doesn't really motivate kids to keep playing. We want everybody engaged. If you are gonna try it like an elimination style game, have it so if a student is eliminated from another game, they get to join another one or move to a different station or something like that. Having people sit out is the opposite of what we're trying to do with this channel and people who are promoting physical activity. We want everybody engaged, doing the best they can. So when I play wall ball, tennis ball is my go-to. But depending on the age of your group, the experience, you can change up the ball. You could have them using a bigger object. It's a little bit easier to catch, a little harder to throw though, so they'd have to stand closer to the wall. If you're into baseball, you could be using a baseball. This is a great way to work on those fielding skills, picking up one hop or two hop balls, or even a rolling ball of the field, getting, working on getting low, getting a glove down to the ground, all those kind of things. So there are a lot of sports specific skills that can be learned from wall ball. Okay, so for the purposes of my video, I'm just playing wall ball by myself but imagine I was playing with a small group. Now anybody could be throwing and catching the ball at any time. I could be throwing it back and forth to myself as many times as I want. Other players could be trying to intervene and catch the ball as well because obviously they want to throw it as well. It's just part of the game and you kind of move around and whoever catches it just throws it at the wall. It's also important to note that it doesn't matter how many times the ball bounces or even if it's rolling before a catch is made. You can catch it at any point, and once you make a catch, you're stuck in that spot and you're not allowed to move other than for a throwing motion towards the wall. Now remember, you can modify this game to fit your context. So towards the end of that last video, you could see I was throwing the ball quite a bit harder, which is something you could do for more experienced or older groups. In this case, I'm doing underhand throws, which is great for younger students or less experienced. And in this last clip here, I'm doing sidearm throws with one-handed catches. So this is obviously a more advanced way to play. But whatever skill you're targeting, you can modify the throws to fit your context. You could even do some trick throws, that kind of thing, to make it a little more interesting, a little more exciting for the group that's playing. These wouldn't be something I would do with younger or less experienced players. And one final modification you might want to consider would be playing in partners and being really close to the wall, throwing underhand and not allowing the ball to bounce at all. This is a great way to challenge more advanced players and work with small groups and small spaces. And in these final examples, you see me throwing the ball at the ground before the wall. You are not allowed to do this. The ball must contact the wall before the ground. And if this happens, a new thrower gets a chance to throw the ball. There's no strikes awarded for this. And finally, in these last couple clips, you're going to see what happens when you drop a ball. So if you're ever trying to make a catch and you do not catch the ball, you must run as fast as you can and touch the wall before an opposing player is able to pick up the ball and throw it at the wall. If they are able to throw the ball at the wall prior to you getting to the wall, you would earn a strike. If you don't want to use a strike system, that's totally fine. Like I said, a lot of the time we just play for fun. Also keep in mind for safety's sake, you might want to use a chalk line instead of the wall for younger students to ensure nobody's running into the wall when they're trying to get safe. All right, so as you can see, obviously wall ball is a very accessible, easy game. 
It's easy to get lots of different people playing. You can play with a small group or a large group. You can add multiple balls just to keep things entertaining and engaging. It's easy, it's simple, and it makes a great recess game. If you teach a game like this to your students, I guarantee you they'll be playing it out at recess on their own. It's like four corners. It's one of those classic games that's simple to play, requires minimal equipment, and we'll get lots of different people playing because it's so inclusive. All right, everybody, so that about does it for wall ball. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you like the content and you can see yourself using this in your context. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, sign up for notifications so you can see my weekly content, like and share away. But for now, this is Mr. Pratt signing off from Wall Ball.